This is Raina with Lilo Crafts, and I'm coming on today to participate in hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. And that is an open collaboration that is hosted by Gigi School Creations and Marianne's Craft Corner. And I will put a link to both of those lovely ladies in the description below. And what it is, is anybody can participate and they are just encouraging us to use kind of what we have to make embellishments. And so I just hauled this um, really cute bunny bow die. So I could not wait to go ahead and play with it. And I got this bow die from the KS Craft Store and I am using the larger size. It does come in two sizes. So there's a smaller one and there's a larger one. And so just um, the, the die is this. It's got three different um, heads that you can use, bunny heads. It has the little bunny feet. It has the inserts to the bunny feet, or you could just use the feet and then paper piece on all these little cutouts. And it has the ear inserts as well for the left and the right side. And then it has a bow, woohoo, so cute. So a fully stitched bow and the bow base. And then it has the piece that goes around the middle if you would like. And it even has a circle that you can put um, inside for like the bunny tail if you would like to do it that way. So um, let me show you what I made and also the boo-boo that I made so that when you're putting this together, you don't make the same boo-boo. So I made some chocolate bunnies as well as some white bunnies. And so, um, so I want to start off by showing you this little sweet chocolate bunny. And so I, um, I have the little white feet on the inside and then I made a colorful bow in pastel colors and I used a big piece of the vase filler from the Dollar Tree for to have a big fluffy tail. I think a pom-pom would look really cute too, but I didn't have any big pom-poms in that size. So this is the right way to do it. So I'm gonna show you the wrong way. So look at the ears. Do you see how when you put them on this, it looks like the ears are flopping over? So I did it wrong in the beginning. So I put them the wrong way. The insert pieces, I still think it look cute. So I just finished it off. Um, but just know that this is the right way to put them on and this is the wrong way. And if it doesn't bother you, like it didn't bother me, I'm gonna still go ahead and use it. So this time I did a white one and I did um, the hot pink uh, base for the bow. And then I used Maggie Holmes garden party paper um, for the top. And then I used a big chunky uh, glitter foam uh, for that. Um, I've got this other little sweet chocolate bunny right here. And this time I used like a sprinkles paper for the bow. And then I did use the cut out um, of the bunny tail. And then I just topped that with a smaller um, vase filler. So, you know, just to get a different look. And then this one is a white one. And again, I used um, that pastel paper. I love that it has a little gold accents. And I used, um, this is like white chocolate and, and milk chocolate. So I used a milk chocolate tail and then I topped it with a little white chocolate, um, little, uh, bunny tail. So I've got those two. And then um, I also made uh, this little one. And um, and this one's got that Maggie Holmes garden party with a bushier tail in chocolate. And then I have this sweet um, little white one I just did in solid white and pink with a little tail. Now you could really use glitter paper or foil paper, I think would be so cute, especially for the accents of the ears and on the inside of the feet. So you can make them any way that you would like, or you could add just some like Wink Stella or even some um, uh, what is that called? Like the glitter glue? What is that called over there? I can't remember, but, um, but you can use the glitter glue to glitter it up. So I think I'm probably going to do that for a couple of them and the rest I'm going to leave, you know, more matte because I think that's a really sweet look too. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and seeing my sweet little bunny manx. And if you like this content, if you could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it as it does help my channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe and become part of the 
Delilah Crafts family. And please go and check out all the other amazing makers by typing in hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.